All right, all right, what's going on, party people? This your man Grill. Quick little video. I wasn't gonna do a video today, just but just wanted to share something with y'all. And first of all, thanks again for liking the video, sharing it, subscribing, um, hit the notification bell to be updated when I post these videos. So today I had a um, let me throw that one up, let this down. I had a reverse mortgage or better known as or also known as a home equity conversion mortgage which is just a fancy word for reverse mortgage and lately you know for like seven eight weeks in a row maybe more uh, probably 11 weeks in a row i was working on saturdays and i'm trying to get away from that so i can rest and recuperate so but every now and then i get this gut feeling it's like i need to take this order um and sometimes it's just I need to take the order for bringing in revenue in the household, especially if things have been light prior to that weekend, or I see there's not a whole lot of orders that I've been booked for for the week coming up. So I may just go on and take one. And I was already booked for one, but it got canceled from a direct client. So I was like, okay, I ain't gonna do nothing there. I'm gonna just chill. And there was others that came in and I actually said no to them. I'm like, nope, I'm not gonna do it, I'm gonna just rest. But this one, the reverse mortgage came in and when it came in, something just said, you need to take that. And I was like, I don't want to. <laughs> but something just kept saying, take it. I'm glad that I did because I went, once I got there, and it wasn't that many pages, barely, I mean, maybe 150 some pages, it wasn't that many real simple easy to get through printed everything out last night because that's my thing i just feel more comfortable printing my documents out the night before i may not always go through them but i will print them and i get up there meet with the young lady who's you know senior citizen and immediately she was like she really didn't want to do this and this is the first time i ever heard somebody saying they didn't want to do a reverse mortgage and not that they were messing her over or anything of that nature. Um, I guess the way she was saying it was a good deal. It just wasn't the deal that she thought it would be. And I was like, okay. So she just needed to vent. And when you are about just getting in and getting out, sometimes you don't give that person a vent. So I spent some time with her just letting her just talk and just get it out of her system how she was feeling i said i have a phone number here if you need to call somebody we you know you got where you can talk to them and ask you any questions she was like nah i'm good she said i have no choice i got to because i'm in this thing now so as we're going through the documents i hear her you know she's sort of talking out loud to herself and come to figure out that based off of what she was saying that she wasn't getting back a more a, she wasn't getting back the amount of money that she thought she was and didn't understand why so of course i didn't understand why so as i'm listening to her and then as she start we start going over some of the documents you know letting her see what was going down and she saw the document i think it was the um the promissory note or was it some the payment the um the payment history or um, uh, loan comparison. That's it. It was a loan comparison, and she was like, "See, this is where I don't understand." And what the problem was that the property, I guess, by the city appraised for one dollar amount, and by the time it got to the reverse mortgage closing, which was today, it appraised for way less, much less. So what I've learned from experience, just dealing with other documents and refis with people if you're trying to borrow eighty five thousand, and the amount that you are prayed that the house is appraised for doesn't give you enough money to do that meaning the what you owe versus what is praised at if you owe two hundred thousand, it's appraised at 350 you want eighty five thousand, but it only appraises at 270 you can't get eighty five thousand out of that seventy thousand because you got a seventy thousand buffer. So basically, her house appraised for way less, for whatever reason, than um, what the city said. The city gave it one dollar amount. The mortgage company people they said nope, it only appraised for this, and that reduced 
the amount of money that she could get back because they can only pay her out of the equity that she has. And if they say her equity is less, she can't get that. And unfortunately, well, not even unfortunately, just I can't say anything because I'm not, that's not my role. I can't say it. And once she, I was like, okay, I know what the deal is. So for me, it was very satisfying that I was the person that was there. Um, and I know a lot of people don't like reverse mortgages. Um, and, I, and I've always said, when you got a lot of stuff going on, you tend to be very impatient with things that can take longer than what you want because you, if you're constantly on the go. And that's why I have to meter all the stuff that I'm involved in. Am I doing a lot? Yes, but I have to manage it to where I don't interfere with the time that I need to spend with the with the mortgage client. When you got too much stuff going on and you trying to do too many things and you got just life and you don't have a handle on it and then you throw this in there and you're trying to do the mortgage closing now with general notary, that's a little bit different. This is when things can get tough for you. So I was happy today and this is part of the reason why I do what I do with this business is because I enjoy days like this. I enjoy moments like this where I can be there for a person, okay? I understand that everybody's gonna stay doing this here for us, the face-to-face -face, or even online or just the notarization part and they want to do everything else and sell stuff and sell stuff and sell stuff. More power to you. You go ahead on and sell whatever you wanna sell because there's always gonna be somebody that's gonna want something notarized. Not everybody's gonna wanna buy your stuff and that's just the truth of the matter and i'm not saying that it's wrong to even want to have stuff to sell but that's not in everybody so for those of you who are listening to this if you're getting all starstruck because somebody is doing all of these things to sell and making money and they never really have to do notary business or actually do the notary business because they're selling so much of this other stuff there's nothing wrong with that that's fine the question is is that you at this moment is not me and I'm saying at this moment because I can go that direction I'm just not ready to do that so I enjoy meeting with people and helping them to get a deal done that can somewhat or somehow benefit them and she said the money that she's getting back is going to help but she just wish it would have been more and she never told me what the more is so I'm I'm just ecstatic and happy that I was there for her and to help her out and really to help the companies out because they needed somebody. And yeah, it was a 40 some minute drive, but for me it was worth it to go over there, get her taken care of, and then, you know, going back home. So I just wanted to share that with y'all. Tell me your thoughts and comments and whatever you're thinking down in the comment section. Um, thank you again for liking and sharing and subscribing. Hit the notification bell. And if you if you haven't joined, hit the join button to join, become a YouTube channel member, and look at the stuff that I got over there. Um, probably won't do any more members only training this month. I did one the other weekend. I'm a little tired, and I got some stuff to do next weekend. So if I was to do a members only thing, it would probably I just probably pop up real quick and do something. But right now I'm like, okay, I'm planning for June. I'm about to say April. I'm planning for June which will be six months into this here thing, and that's going to be some decision-making time for a lot of y'all. All right, well, y'all have a good one. Thanks again. As always, peace.